salutations and greetings from Marge. Marge, like the Simpson, not like the truck driver on Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman made high school pretty freaking uncomfortable for me. Because it came out right before then, so. It's funny, my <clears throat> father is a truck driver, so there's some irony in there. Yep, a little synchronicity. I had a funny one today. I love synchronicities. Because <coughs> they can be as magnificent as we make them. So I'll, tell my, I'll say something to myself, like, if there's something that is troubling me, or that I'm struggling with, I'll say, ah, oh, you know, give me a sign, kind of a deal, of something is true or not. And the closer, the higher it makes me, like, the bigger the deal of the sign. Like, the bigger, fucking, are you kidding me? Like, the more elation I get, whatever gets me closer, that vibration of elation, whatever raises my vibration. Or I'll see something that lowers my vibration, that's like a no. I'm gonna get yes and no's from the universe. Give me your gut feeling. What is? What do you? What do you think? And my synchronicity today is. I wonder if I had enough. Uh, look at this. It's about to be ten, 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 ten. The tenth of June, two thousand two. I'll talk about the date and history about that later. See if I made a screenshot. <clears throat> I freaking uploaded pictures and deleted a bunch of pictures and all kinds of stuff today so all kinds of freaking oh there it is though that's cool so things are syncing up I just have to put stuff down and not pay attention because if I play to it with it too much I get all mixed up so today is a day of allowance that's for sure maybe it's in my which browser did I use to look it up Oprah? Oh, I could just look it up again. What was it? The oak. So I was watching, I call it Super 8, but it's Sense 8. They did a plot twist. I remember reading something somewhere last summer or some other time about how because of the cost, you know, it got canceled and people were all pissed off, but they freaking made their budget freaking crazy, so that's what happened. Got a little big for the britches. I mean, it's a great show. And, but they were going to do like a one final movie, and it seems like I'm five episodes into that one final movie, so I think somebody changed their mind along the way somewhere. Anyway, so there is a scene, and I'm big on that backdrop. Like, a lot of people, don't, when they watch videos, they're like concentrating on the face. I'm looking at all this other stuff on the outside. I look at like the posters people have on their walls. I look at all that background stuff because that's how you find out. That's the stuff that really tells people who you are or what people show to represent who they are. Because um, that would be a big freaking dupe. That would be a big shamealer to freaking put on a facade to create, you know, create a surroundings with things that you aren't just to give people an idea of who you are. I don't know. I am of the variety. Hey, Oka Wise Clown, I love light. I live in the light. I am a light worker. I am an empath. Um, so anyway, so I was, I, I watched in the background, one of the characters had Hey, Tuck Tuck. Boop, 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 boop. Good Tucker back there. I bet Tucker did all the little head. Anyway, um, Boke. He had a t shirt on. Boke. I'm all big for t shirts. My t shirt shop. The Truth, truth Speaking Tea. I had another one this morning, but I forgot it. I'm not going to spend time on dead air trying to figure it out now. Anyway, so Boke. Boke. It's a dream pop indie electronica band from Iceland. Rave of I can't see it. I I I know I'm thinking of one person and this is her hometown. She lived in I can't pronounce Rave. 
if somebody if somebody went through and like did the sounds for me because I'm hooked on phonics and I don't know how their structure is and I probably would because I've always I know I've been a Viking in a past life I've always had this freaking warrior attitude it's who I am so um the funny the synchronicity in this is uh <laughs> the, the, the band was created when Margaret Ron R-A-N with an A over it. Well, my name is Margaret Ann. I'm, a, I'm an Aries. Ra. Um, Anu. Any of that vibrate. It's all the same vibrational fre frequency. I know Anu. It's my middle name all mixed up and flip floppy. But I just thought that was so funny the synchronicity in that because the kid was in that that's the thing is because he was in like kin what is it kin, I can't remember he even said it and then she was in Seoul Korea so it's like and I think my friend that lives in I, this is from Iceland I met her one day we haven't met and had coffee I think she's actually going to Omaha soon for a visit right when it's just nice and gross anyway the 10th of June <coughs> I was a, I was a regular, I was a, I, st I still like to think of myself as a friend of Bill W. Bill W is a, it's a club that started, I don't know what year it, I lost track. Uh, 1939, 1938. Anyway, it was two men met. And, uh, they start they, 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 they started talking about commonalities and how they felt less than. And, um, from that conversation, it ignited uh, a mindset based on principles and per in, 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 in personality uh, persuasion. Because sometimes we need to persuade our own personalities to be smaller than our principles, or maybe we need to <clears throat> make our principles bigger than our personalities. It doesn't matter. Look at it anyway. In this day and age, I'm finding, and I will likely, I will, I will likely, you know, find my way back to those for like go, actually making the effort of going to the rooms. Um, seems like I've met a lot of like-minded people there, but right now, I am uh, in kind of. I don't know, spiritual cocoon, I guess. Right now, I don't really see a whole lot of reason to go out there and maybe people, if they acted better, I'd meet more people that I'd want to be around. <clears throat> I've met a few if they don't want to be around me. What do you do? It's a bust, huh? You wish them well. That's the hard part about ascending. Um, having, um, I don't know, the Bible calls it apocalypse, but it's just a revolution, res, reba, 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 what's the word? It's just a resolution to a new way of thinking, a new of idea of things, and I just happen to not believe in things like money anymore. And it's weird, because all the stuff that I did believe in, people are struggling to find it. And it's something that I've always lived. I've always been this weird kid that believed in ma magic and light. And people have said that to me with disdain. Like, yeah, I get you. You're into that love, light, and magic, and you want to save the world and all that stuff. You still need this tax form and this tax form and. You need to eat crap over here, and you need to eat this shit, and you need to be miserable. And I, for too long, I I modified my behavior that so that it would make other people around me comfortable. And it makes me fucking. It, it's really kind of embarrassing <laughs> and humiliating to find out. Once I started doing that, 
or the less people start it. Stop talking to me. I can't get too sad about it because I understand how people see me as a direct reflection of how they see themselves. And it's just more of a measure and lets me know where they are. see slowly and surely more people recognize and resonate with what I say. I've never hidden. I've always stood up my glant fucking vacant scare stare. I'll stand up for what I believe in. Just be ready to laugh because I'm clumsy as hell and I get all tripped up in my mouth. Gets all tongue tied, and I freaking cry when I get emotional. And I fucking use my sleeves for snot, and I don't know how to act in social gatherings. And I've been in a lot of uh, gatherings where I thought the people were supposed to be more proper, and they were just downright freaking animalistic and gross. So, Today, I hope a lot of people are celebrating new beginnings, recognizing new every day is a new beginning. And today, I'm reminded of crow I get to eat. Crow is an old, an old expression of when you say something, and you know immediately that it has changed your new normal. Because people don't have to die. To leave your life. I've been dead to people a lot. And when I say I'm being dramatic when I say dead to people, because when people don't see me fit, for them to stop time enough to make a place for me, it just tells me that I'm not worth their time. And I know a lot of people feel this way. The good news is... We can practice to create our own joy and our own calm and our self-soothe and be our own love. My tribe just happens to have four legs. My friend, my church and nature. <clears throat> it's okay to relate to people and say what you feel to people. Some people, uh, it's the hiding is that is what creates the distance, is the not. Is to keeping your mouth closed and not saying speaking from your heart. It's creating more problems than it's worth, so. I'm going to stay close to home. It feels like winter to me. Music is wonky. Technology is wonky. My hands are cold. Um, it's raining. I don't have to water the lawn. I am grateful today for all that I have. I'm warm. I have pants on. <laughs> it's not a, it's a pant day. I'm cold. Loretta will be chilly. I already have her area prepared. She should be getting up. She's sleeping in today. She always sleeps hungry when it's chilly. So I do things that fill your heart with light and love. I hope you all have a rad day. Peace.